Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna teach you how to create this awesome realistic denim texture inside of Photoshop. So let's get started. So before we get started inside of this larger texture, we're gonna make a small pattern, these lines right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. We'll go to File, New. And the Dimensions for this are 250 pixels wide by 250 pixels high. If this is for digital use only, we're going to keep it at 72. Otherwise, you can take the resolution up to 300 for print. Click Create. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. We're going to choose the shape tool here, the rectangle tool. I'm going to actually remove the stroke and we want the fill to be black for this one. And we're going to make a square here. And I'm going to make the dimensions 30 pixels wide by 30 pixels high. And then just make sure that that fits right up against that corner. I'm going to hold the Option key on my keyboard or Alt key on the, the PC and you'll see these two double arrows. When you see that, just drag this down and then we're going to do that again to create a third one. And now we'll just grab this first one, hold the Shift key, grab the last one, press the Option or Alt key again and then drag these down again and then do it one more time. We're actually going to get rid of this this uh, last one right here because we don't need it. And then we're going to get all of these together. Grab the top one, hold the shift key, grab the bottom one, and then we're just going to drag it out until that bottom one actually is flush against the bottom of the canvas. Click enter and then command and the letter E or control and the letter E just to make it all one. Then you'll come up to edit, define pattern, and this is going to be our denim pattern. Click OK. So we're done with this. We don't need it anymore. We're going to come in and make the larger texture. So we're going to come up to file, new. And this one is going to be pretty big. We're going to make it 3000 pixels wide by 3000 pixels high. The resolution will leave at 72. Click create. Now with our new canvas, we're going to fill it with a blue color. So something like something like this is fine. Maybe something right around there. We're going to use 185E9F. Click OK. Press the letter X to make sure that that's on the background. Command and delete to fill it. Control and backspace on the PC. Now we're going to come up to filter, noise, add noise, and we'll add just a little bit of noise here, uh, about 15. Yeah, about 15 pixels is fine. Distribution, uniform, check off monochromatic. Click OK. Now we're going to add another layer. This uh, layer right here is going to be filled with a gray color. Pretty much what I've done is just uh, pick the color that I'm already using and then come all the way over here to the other side and choose the, the gray that's closest to it to the center there. Click OK. X on the keyboard, Command Delete to fill the layer. We're going to add more noise to this layer. So come up to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. The amount for this one is going to be 200%. Distribution Uniform, check off Monochromatic. Click OK. Now we're going to duplicate this layer. So you can just right click and duplicate layer. We're going to call it denim. Okay. And then this one we can call denim too. Okay. So we've got these two layers. 
Now we're going to come in uh, with denim two, for denim 2 and go to filter, blur, motion blur. Our angle is going to be 0, distance is 28 pixels, click OK. And then we're going to change that to soft light. We're going to come up to the denim layer, do the same thing, filter, blur, motion blur, except that on this one our angle is going to be 90 degrees. Distance stays the same, click OK, and we're going to change this one to soft light. So you should have something that looks like similar to what I have on the screen. Next, we're going to add a pattern adjustment layer. So if you come to this little circle down here, we're going to choose pattern. And it's automatically picking up the last pattern that we added, which was our denim pattern here. And we're going to scale this way down. We're going to bring it down to about 4%. Click OK. And with this pattern fill layer selected, I'm going to right click and convert this to a smart object and then double click anywhere in this area to bring up the blending options for the layer. We're going to check off drop shadow. Our drop shadow is going to be black. Our blending mode is multiply. Opacity is 50% angle 120 degrees, your distance is 9 pixels, spread 7%, size 2 pixels, and then we're going to come up to bevel and emboss. Our style is emboss, our technique is smooth, depth is 750%, direction is up, size is 8 pixels, and our opacity down here is 40 for the highlight mode and 30 for the shadow mode. Click OK. And actually, I think uh, what I'm going to do is bring up the scale on this to we'll bring it up to about 8%. Click OK. Okay, that looks better. Okay, with this layer selected, we're going to go ahead and add a fade effect. We're going to keep this gray, medium gray background color, 88898A. And then we're going to come up to this one. I'm going to sample that bottom one. And then we're going to make it halfway between white and that gray color. Click OK. Now we're going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds, and we're going to change the mode to Soft Light. You should end up with something like this. That's the fade of the jeans. And then you can come in and add another hue and saturation layer to the top of that just to, you can adjust the color as you wish. And we get a deeper blue. If you want to adjust the color of the jeans, you can add that hue and saturation layer to the top. And this is your jeans layer. Okay, once we have this created, we're going to grab all of the layers and we're going to group them. And I'm going to make a copy of this just by uh, I'm going to hold down my Option key and drag it down to make a copy, just, to, just so I have a copy of it. And I'm going to merge this group. So right click and merge group. So we have, this is our pattern right here. Uh, I'm going to add uh, the words denim to this. I'm going to make it kind of big. Okay, that's fine right there. Now uh, I'm going to hold down the command or control key on the keyboard and then right here we're going to just click. 
This is going to make a selection of the text layer. And now I'm going to come back to this layer, the denim texture layer, and I'm going to press command J or control J on the keyboard. That's going to make a selection from here and paste it here. So if I turn that off, you can't see it because it, it copied exactly here. So we're going to come down here, command an L on the keyboard, and we're going to make an adjustment here so that you can get that. Actually, we'll make, we'll go lighter. So it looks like it's faded out. So we're just going to adjust, make a levels adjustment really quickly. Again, that was command L on the keyboard. Uh, you can also get to that here, layer, adjustment layer, and then levels. So either way, and you can take this a step further like I did in the first one. So in order to do this, you'll actually have to make that brush. I am going to have this brush available on my website for download. So if you want to pick up this brush, um, you can grab it there. But I want to show you how to use it really quickly. I'm going to turn this layer back on. Press the command key or control key on the PC. Make that selection again. Okay, with that area selected, we're gonna come up to paths. And so that's gonna be this little icon here. If, if you don't have this in your uh, tools here, you can come to window and then click on paths and that will bring it up for you. So with this selected, what I wanna do is make a path from the selection. So I'm going to click on that button and it actually, it automatically created a path. Okay. So with that, with that selection, we're going to come up here and we're going to choose this brush, the stitching, uh, one stitch brush, and then we're going to change the size of it. So I'm going to use this just as a guide. So I'm going to leave it right around there. This is, about 20 pixels. Okay, so I'm going to come back into my paths. I'm going to create a new layer. And with this work path selected, I'm going to come and choose this right here. This is stroke path with brush. Just click on that and then click anywhere off of that inside of here turn that off so you can you can see it very slightly we're going to go ahead and add some dimension to it we're adding this bevel and emboss we're going to add a color overlay um, this orangey color that you typically see in jeans and then we'll add a little bit of a drop shadow click ok now this is a little bit more subtle than you saw in the other one but again, it just depends on what look you're going for. If you come in closer, you can kind of see uh, what that looks like or get the detail of this one. But if, of course, you can go a little bit thicker like we did in this one as well. And it gives it a completely different look. So that was how to create a denim texture inside of Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video, and of course, go over to prettywebs.com to pick up this free Photoshop brush and the diagonal pattern that we used for this as well. Until next time, thanks for watching.